everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm going to be making a buckle card. Now it may be called something else, but I've made these for years and I've just always called it a buckle card because of the way it tucks and folds into it's itself from each side and I'm going to be working with the mini windows dies this is something I used to do by hand and use a template and it's a lot less complicated and goes a lot faster now that you can use these mini window dies to create the same effect so I'm going to start with a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches and then I'm going to score it at two and a half inches and then score again at six and three quarters. And I'll have all the measurements listed on the classroom blog so you can follow along. Now I'm gonna crease the fold lines here with my Teflon bone folder. And I noticed that as I was folding it both sides in on itself, there was, uh, it was a little bit tight. And so I needed to shave off um, the edge there of the larger panel just to make sure that as I folded the sides all in, uh, it would lay flat. So now I'm gonna close the card temporarily. I folded the right flap over the top. And I'm going to move that die and position it just a little bit to the left of where that edge is and make a pencil line. So now I'm going to open the card back up, take the die and reposition it again along that pencil line that I made. And I'm going to use a little bit of post-it tape to just keep that die in place and send it through my big shot. And now I'm going to lift the die out of place. And you can see that these mini windows actually have a hinge on one side and then it cuts the remainder so that you have a little window with a door that flaps open. So I'm going to erase my pencil line now because I don't want it to show on the front of my card. I'm going to cut the notch that holds that little door shut because I do want it to be uh, free, you know, moving. And I just wanted to show you on the die how it has that score line on the one side and then the other three edges cut and this is the way that I lined up the score line of the die with the pencil line on the front of the card. So now you can see I have my little window with the door and I'm going to actually tuck it to the inside of the card and then fold the right flap over the top of it so it's going to kind of tuck and fold in on that little window door and that's how we get this type of closure. So here's what it looks like when the card is opened and then when it's partially open you can see here where that right side is tucking over the top of the little window door. So now I'm going to take, uh, while I've got the card closed, I'm going to embellish the front very quickly. I'm just taking some little sparkly snowflake images from the Christmas Scribbles stamp set and inking over the top with some Delicata Silver ink. I'll set that aside for a minute. I wanted to use the mittens in this set and I decided to, at first I was going to watercolor them and then I kind of changed my mind. And I'm stamping with the Silver Delicata ink onto some letter press paper. And I'm going to emboss with some detail fine grind silver embossing powder. So I just went ahead and prepped the surface of that with an anti-static pouch and then um, went ahead and embossed it. And then I'm going to use one of the Kudatake Zig markers to just paint some quick brush stroke stripes. And at first I was going to watercolor and then I changed my mind. I thought the stripes would be fun um, and a little bit whimsical there on the gloves. So I just went ahead and drew the stripes with the brush tip marker. These are the coolest markers because they're water-based and they have a real brush nib. And so it looks like I painted them on there when I really just drew them quickly. And then I'm going to take the matching dies and go ahead and cut those out. And I like to toss those into a bowl and set the bowl just out of reach so I don't lose my die cut pieces. And here I'm putting adhesive just inside that door. And I'm not going over the edge of where that panel is tucked underneath because I want to mount this square of metallic cardstock right over the top of that. And I want to make sure it doesn't get mounted to the other side of the card so that when I open it and shut it, it will slide and move freely. So I had to be careful where I was putting the adhesive underneath to mount it into place. So now you can see why it was important to have that adhesive only in that area, not going over the edge there of that right panel. So now I've got the gloves mounted in place and I just used tape runner to do that. Then I'm gonna take a pom-pom and some multi-medium and go ahead and anchor that down in place. And then I decided to embellish the snowflakes with a little bit of stickles in silver. And once it was dry, I felt like it needed just one more thing and I had this little strip of glitter paper left over from something else and I was like, you know what, that's perfect. I'm gonna grab that little scrap of silver glitter paper and run some glue, just a fine bead of glue along it and then go ahead and mount that into place on the edge of the card. And then once I'm sure that's in place, let it dry and then snip off the ends really quickly so I have a nice finished edge. And here you can see the finished card. It's got the little snowball there made from the pom-pom on the mittens. And there's how it tucks and folds. 
cool, yeah? <laughs> Super fun to do. I love using the mini window dies. You could use, you could actually create a longer, taller, or taller card and use three of the mini windows if you wanted to. All the supplies are available at ellenhudson.com. There's more still shots and details at the classroom blog. And thanks for watching.